ladies and gentlemen today we will discuss all the trouble creating houses in the chart right houses that we travel well they just reflect the troubles that we gave to somebody else in our previous lifetimes and welcome to the dustana house six eight twelve <laughs> and uh, i'm wearing black today the black hoodie why because <laughs> black. the the planet that is strongly associated with the color black who is that planet yes we know that's saturn right and saturn indicates most of the suffering that we get in this lifetime because of giving that to somebody else in our previous lifetimes. All right. So that's exactly what we are going to discuss today. But before that, two things very quick. One thing is I have videos on solutions to planets in Dustana 6, 8, 12 uh, in uh, my channel long, long, long time back, some four, five years back. So please watch those videos if you want to know specifically for every house. Okay. And and the second uh, thing is, uh, I will be uh, visiting India from 24th of November this year, 2024 to 8th of February next year. And during this visit, I'll go to many places. Uh, but as of now, my uh, trip to Delhi, New Delhi, India has been finalized from uh, 25th to uh, 25th November to 2nd of December. So during that period, I will be available for uh, personalized one-to-one -to -one consultations if you wish and also for any podcasts or any other interviews with any other astrologers if you if interested. Uh, so please, uh, you, you can go to my community page and you can see the update uh, for some early bird offers which is reserved for the first few people who book the reading till 30th of September. All right, so if you would love to catch up with me and uh, have a coffee together somewhere, although I don't drink coffee, <laughs> and get your chart read, then yes, uh, please send an email at exoticastrology uh, at gmail.com. So exoticastrology at the rate gmail.com. You can send the mail there and my team will respond to you with the early bird offers if provided available. <laughs> All right, planets in Dustana, Dustana houses. So, again, this is not a specific uh, planet wise, you know, video for this planet, this house, this house, that. But in general, you need to know that any problem that you are having in life, any problem doesn't matter, any dissatisfaction in life is governed by the Dustana. Doesn't matter what it is, okay. You can name it. It is like, you know, career problem, marriage problem, health problem. It just doesn't matter. But you need to understand, the 8th house is 3 times more deadly than the 6th house and the 12th house is 3 times more deadlier than the 8th house. So, the 12th house in essence is the deadliest of every house, okay? In all, all the 3 Dustanas, it's the worst villain. <laughs> okay. So number one, if you have planets in your sixth house, again, this is not a this planet, that house video, but in general, if you have planets in sixth house, they can show your health is struggling. Okay, and it's very difficult for you to maintain your health at times. And you are either in medication or you have accident or, you know, like there is some perpetual problem, you know, and you, you know it's there. It may not reflect, but you know something is not right about your health, you know. Have you faced those times where you kind of know, right, uh, that well, the health is not very good, right? So, that's the sixth house. It's typical displeasure in health, okay? Number two, financial instability. This comes primarily from the eighth and twelfth, but also from the sixth. So, if you have clients in the sixth, they may give you a job or some money in business, but it will come through a lot of hard work, okay? Unlike the 2nd or 10th or 11th. But if you have applied in the 8th, money can come in, but somebody may die or something terribly ghastly happens. Only after that, the money can come in. You know, like inheritance, you get money, but somebody passes away in your family, right? So, and 8th house can, you know, give this uh, sudden events, okay? Sudden shocks, okay? And wealth house, of course, is loss, okay? Very, very dangerous for profession and financial stability. It can indicate all your losses. 
Number three, twelfth house represents you know isolation, loneliness. Eighth house also. So if your planets are in the twelfth and you know they are activated, and a planet is in the eighth, so suppose you have you know let's take an example. You have Saturn in twelfth and Mars in eighth. So in Mars, Saturn dasha or Saturn Mars dasha, Mars dasha, you might run into depression. So uh, they indicate loneliness and the feeling of being helpless, like you know nobody is there. Okay. Yeah, you're all by yourself. This is what it means. And that is why 12th house represents foreign lands. And what happens when you go abroad? There's nobody from your family, from your culture, from your religion, from your, yeah, your mental, mental of mind. You know, everybody is different. Everybody thinks differently. They look different. They eat different. You know, so it's tough. Okay. Number four. Planets in Dustanas will show strained relationships. So Venus, if placed in Dustana, houses or 7th Lord or 2nd Lord or 5th Lord or 11th Lord, if these planets are placed in Dustanas, especially the 6th, okay, this is the most crooked house when it comes to relationships because it is 12th to the 7th, okay, so the loss of relationships. But this is not in just in terms of relationships, I am saying. In general, you know, if moon is in Dustana or fourth lord is in Dustana, there could be issues with your mother, okay? So, if you have planets in Dustanas, better not expect too much from them. Otherwise, you will be the one uh, suffering, okay? And if you have planets in Dustanas, you have to understand, number five, there will be obstacles in pursuing that. So, for example... If you have a planet in Dustana, like 7th Lord in 6th, 8th or 12th, you will not get married easily. It will not happen. Most of the cases it won't. Of course, if your overall chart is very good, the 2nd house, 11th house, 5th house, 9th house, they are very strong and you are running the dasha of these planets or planets placed in these houses. Then, uh, yeah, I mean, that, that can mitigate. But in general, if your... Yeah, if, if your planets are in Dustanas, it will not happen in one go. You will need two, three attempts, okay? So to open the door, it is very difficult. The door doesn't open. Sometimes the key is missing. <laughs> and sometimes after opening, 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 you uh, the, the key breaks and you are like, you know, using a drill machine and you are opening. And then after opening, you realize, oh, this was the wrong door, <laughs> right? So... It's like saying you got married after a lot of hardship by biting your nails, like, and then you were divorced. <laughs> yeah, it's that's what the Dustalas represent, right? Tough life. Number six, whichever planets are in Dustala, they can represent some life altering crisis or life altering crisis. Okay. What the hell is that? <laughs> this means. There can be some problem which nobody has ever seen. You know, it's like something completely bizarre happens. You know, it's like bizarre, bizarre, bizarre. Something completely unexpected. It's like totally abnormal. Okay, like it it happens all the times. Okay, like you get married and you know something happens to your spouse. Like you know. Days after your wedding, you know, something like that can happen, okay? These are very, very difficult houses, okay? So, therefore, if you have, like, you know, your fifth lord in Dustana or, yeah, fifth lord or second lord, be always mindful of your children. You now, if you're ninth lord, then be mindful of your father, fourth lord, mother, a seventh lord, spouse, okay? Anything can happen to them anytime. So, you have to uh, give security to them, okay? Number seven. What is number seven? Spiritual and material crisis. So, Dustana houses, surprisingly, are not just problems in your material life, which they are, as we have discussed, but they are also indicating problems in your spiritual life, okay? Now, the sixth house in general can be a bit better for uh, compared to the other two houses, but in general, the sixth house can show that you are able to follow celibacy or you are not able to follow celibacy. And 8th and 12th, my God, they destroy your spiritual life, okay? They end your spiritual life. Because they represent, like, sexuality, affairs, you know, behind the scenes, you know, behind the curtains. <laughs> so, 
But now here, uh, there's an exception. If the overall chart is very strong and uh, your trends are very strong, then the 8th and the 12th can be relatively less turbulent because they may help you to go deep, okay? But in general, 99% of the cases, even when it comes to spiritual life, it is always trouble, okay? It's very difficult. So, if you have planets there, you know, 8th, 12th especially, and the Dasha is active, it can happen that you leave practicing your spiritual path and you you go and do something else, okay? Yeah, that that's how it is. That's unfortunate. But basically, this shows you have fallen prey to bad habits, okay? So, it, it could be, you know, drinking, smoking or prostitution, uh, adultery, affair, watching pornography, masturbation, could be anything, okay? So, if you have this, then be careful, okay? And then... Number eight, very, very, very important. There will be family and inheritance issues, okay? Now, this will primarily happen if there is some problem with the 8th house and somehow the 8th house is also linked with the 12th house, okay? But in general, if the second lord is in Adustana, then it is very well seen that, you know, you don't get share of your inheritance or, or you know, you, you try, but uh, you can't use it. So, it's like, you know, your money is blocked. Okay, or your property which your grandparents or your father mother gave you there's some court case and it's stuck and it's not gonna come okay so this is very difficult because uh, then what happens is uh, you, you you will get or see first is you don't get okay the second is you may get but even after getting you will not be able to use it so this is something you should be aware of and be prepared okay Number nine, hidden enemies. Wow, this is brilliant. Right, fantastic. This is like, this is one of the worst things, you know. So, if Venus is in Adustana, then it could be that you know some lady is there and you know, she's hell bent on destroying your life. Okay, it could be even if you are a lady, it could still work. Okay, and especially if you are a man and your Venus is in Adustana, be very careful from ladies. Okay, similarly for. Ladies, if your Mars is in a Dustana house, you need to be careful from men especially, okay? They may destroy your reputation or, you know, they are, do things which uh, harm your image at large, okay? So, therefore, if players are in Dustana, the Karakatwas, they, they may suffer and they may act like your hidden enemy. You know, somehow, if Moon is in a Dustana, the mother doesn't, the, your mother doesn't like you or you don't like your mother, okay? And then you are like forced to stay together, right? So, it's like punishment, okay? So, either they are enemies or family members or friends or enemies disguised as your family or friends, but it's punishment, okay? Number 10, the Dustana houses represent desires which may never be fulfilled. <laughs> this is gold, this is platinum, like, any planet in Dustanas, forget, forget it. <laughs> you, don't have, you don't have to forget it completely, but yeah, make peace with it. That's the only thing you can do. There's nothing much you can do. So now you may say, oh, I don't have planets in Dustanas, but the Lord of Dustanas will sit somewhere, right? So they will kind of give you problems there. Okay, so uh, there may be humans who do not have planets in Dustanas, but there won't be anybody, any human who whose Dustana house's lord will not sit somewhere. They have to sit somewhere for everybody. So there you will have problems, okay? So essentially you need to understand that whenever you have planets in these houses, you have to expect trouble, expect delays, expect setbacks, expect multiple attempts, recurring attempts and you know you have to kind of limit your desires okay if, if your seventh lord or venus is in dustana maybe don't expect too much from your spouse or from marriage in general and be careful of enemies as we discussed you know and family inheritance and all this okay so uh, yeah dustanas can feel like punishment sometimes but that's that's what it is it's our karma and we have to go through this of course, that does not mean uh, we tolerate anything and everything that others do to us. I don't mean to say that. You have to you have to protect yourself, go and seek justice if that's the need of the hour. Nothing wrong in doing that. But make sure to not 
create further karma in a in a bad sense okay so try to end the things and negotiate to whatever extent possible and not create further karma all right so ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for your patience i hope you enjoyed this video <laughs> And if you did, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And for personalized consultations, you can visit my website. Or for early bird discounts, if you are in and around New Delhi, please send a mail to exoticastrology at the rate gmail.com. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him. Take care. Jai Sia Ram.